Brad, you want to ride those? We trading? There you go. And it's just normal. It's your clutch, just like a mo regular motorcycle would be. That's a foot brake down there. But like I said, the first gear slip it a little bit because it's kind of tall, especially in here. Okay. How do you start this thing, dude? What? I don't know how to start this thing. How do you? What? I got it. Today we're going to show you how to install a manual choke cable on your scooter. Uh, this pretty much applies to any scooter. We're going to show you how to do it on this Zuma today. Um, but essentially what you need, you need the choke cable of course. And this guy fell. You need a choke cable adapter for your specific carburetor. This one's a Polini. So this is the the part we're using and then we also have this uh, nice handlebar mount to mount this straight to the handlebars so it's a pretty easy install so let's just get started here first things first we'll take our wrench come on over here and we will just can get your wrench on there. Start by removing that standard choke knob. This is a Polini CP carburetor. Uh, this is the same same adapter for PWK as well. But essentially, you're just gonna want to remove this guy. Nice and easy. These are plastic, so they're not super tight anyways. Hurt ourselves on some motorcycle obstacle course of some sort. Pretty good chance somebody's going to get hurt. That's all right. I don't have anything else better to do. You ready, cowboy? No, you can't go over that. Ah. Oh. I need more ground clearance. Alright. And there you go, there's your old choke knob which we're gonna replace with the parts I just dropped all right you see you get a few pieces here it's a relatively simple concept essentially instead of the knob pulling the cable you're just gonna have a cable instead so what you're going to want to do is take this cable out of the bag. Start by, I usually like taking these apart first. Makes the install a little bit easier. Now, we'll start by threading this through. There's a few ways you can do this. Do it from the top down to the bottom. You can also take the fairings off, which may be what we end up doing here. But 
what you really want to do is you just want to pretty much thread it through the scooter up to the front. As you can see, it's not always that simple. I have a feeling this dude's pump. The battery. I have a feeling this dude is uh, the motor's gonna like rip off the bike or something. I mean that looks just straight sketchy. Oh, he's using the DeWalt battery to jump it. All right. All right. Try it from the top. See, do we see it down here? Nope. Not quite exactly where I wanted it to be. This one's being rather difficult, so we're gonna. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this front, this front piece. What we're gonna do is just take this cable, snake it up through. Maybe to the front of the scoot. Maybe I took this inner panel off already. Just makes this a little bit easier. Yep. All right, so there's your cable. Then you're gonna take this cable here, thread it into the cable outer. And you'll take this cap, slide it over with the spring and the gasket. This knob plunger piece will go right on there. Sometimes you will have to file this piece of solder down just to get it to slide in there a little bit easier, but nothing crazy. And then you'll take this whole assembly, and what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna just drop it right into the carb. All right, finger tight now. Now we're gonna grab our wrench. Just get nice and tight. All right. So now the bottom half is set up. So now we just have to do the top. And this is pretty easy. This is where most people have a hard time though. It's just with, because you'll see, we have a lot of extra cable here. Yeah, so we're gonna have to shorten this. But for now, we're gonna see how much we have to take off. We're just going to slide this pinch bolt over, just stick it in there, take the slack out, and then tighten this screw down just a little bit. You'll see, it's right about where we need it to be. So now what I'll do, is I'll grab some pliers. I'll hold this while you tighten this screw down because you want the screw to be nice and tight onto that cable. Once you get that nice and tight, give it a good little tug. <clears throat> All you do now is you'll take your snips. I want to see this guy in this Chinese bike wheelie that thing. Pull up on the bars and see it just bend like a taco. Right in half. Straight left, straight left.
What you're going to want to do is get a proper cutting tool, move this pinch bolt, and there we go. Then we can stick that pinch bolt into the choke cable. What I usually like to do is I'll just test, give it a couple pulls. Sometimes it'll be kind of tight. But this one right here seems pretty good. I may use the adjuster down here to give it a little bit more slack. Then all you gotta do is slide this back over. And now these choke cables come with adapters so you could bolt it onto your fairing or anything like that. <clears throat> However, today we're using this handlebar mount so we'll go something like that show you screw adapter now that you have the knob in there just tighten all that down I like to put this nut back on Kind of figure we want it like that. So then we'll take this adapter and just start screwing it on the screws. Nice and tight there. There you have it, choke knob, install, handlebar mount.